Yes, sure. we'll switch over. Uh, we had a, had a chance to catch up with the, the owner and manager of AFC 615, and here's some of the excerpts. As a full explanation for the actual name, it's AFC, which stands for Athletic Football Club. And then it's 615. We don't go by 615. We go 615 to uh, punctuate the point that it is Nashville. Just the history of the club, you know, the, the formation and, you know, how long you guys have been around? Yeah, we're brand new, actually. Um, the inception of it came from this past summer. And the reason behind AFC 615 was predicated off of a desire to have a community-based organization that was closer to the community as opposed to, um, let's say, Nashville Soccer Club. I was on the committee for MLS to Nashville, and I helped, like everybody else that was on that committee, it was like almost 50 to 100 people, uh, to drive bringing professional soccer to Nashville at the highest level, in this case, MLS. And so that was a great experience. Uh, but for myself, I wanted to have something that spoke to, again, community-based, uh, really from the premise of youth players being able to migrate to the next level or at least get to a level where they can be launched into uh, semi-professional or professional careers. Uh, most of the youth players throughout America, and there's quite a few of them, it's a big country, uh, we still have a fragmented system in regards to the quote unquote pathway to the pros and people come up with different ideas and different pathways, uh, which is you know noble in regards to their perspective on what they can do to help young talented players make it to the next level. And so my thought pattern was based off of my experiences with uh, MLS youth academies first Columbus Crew, then DC United, and the most recently with Sporting Kansas City. And having seen the youth players in a professional model in preparation for them to go pro, those things are great, but could there be something else done to help those that can't make it to a youth academy? It's a big country. So on a global scale, athletic football club, it's known you know, globally as a sports club, soccer club in this case, AFC. And then, okay, where are you from? 615, baby, 615, we're from Nashville. Don't even have to say Nashville, 615. Okay, so that's part of our chant, AFC 615, in case you didn't get it the first time. So <laughs> we bring that in and then we're gonna add things. So our thing was, look, I'm just trying to get it off the ground. And we're in a brand new territory for the UPSL uh, in the Mid-South. It's a brand new division called the Expedition Division. And I'm recruiting teams, um, not only here uh, in terms of our other Nashville team, but also down in Alabama, uh, Kentucky, and um, as far north as Evansville, uh, Indiana. So I'm just looking to get us going. And we're excited. I mean, we're, you know, we're sort of like, did we just win the division? And, uh, and who are we playing? We're going to play... Jenga, Atlanta, these guys have been ranked like number one in the nation, like almost all season. Do we, do we actually have to go over there? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, we want, we want to come over. We're excited. Um, but the real inception was, can we just get, this, get it off the ground and get rolling and then get some momentum and traction relative to starting? And that's, that's pretty much what it was. Now, overall, how big is the soccer uh, community in Nashville and in Tennessee? Yeah, it's grown. I mean, I, I came here eight years ago to be the general manager of the Nashville Metros, which played in the UPSL, I mean, sorry, USL PDL. And um, at that time, that was the only team professional, uh, and that was semi-pro, of course, only played in the summertime, similar to the uh, NPSL. But that was the only team in the entire state that could even claim to be of a professional level. And they had been in existence for roughly 32, 33 years. And so I came in on the tail end. So now you fast forward eight years. Yeah, I mean, the growth of the sport in this state alone, we have an immigrant community over here. Uh, we have a refugee community over here. And I spent 
the last eight years over in that territory, that part of the city called Antioch, uh, which is in the southeast region of Nashville. So we have that uh, along with the traditional, you know, pay to play model of the suburban uh, community. Uh, but I will say that uh, taking both uh, sort of segments of, of our community together, it's a growing population and a lot of different people that are moving here to the city of Nashville. And again, I'm not from Nashville. I came here because of soccer and uh, came from the north uh, from DC, but we have a lot of people migrating to the city of Nashville, Nashville. Uh, not to take anything away from Chattanooga, Knoxville, or Memphis, but we're talking about Nashville. That's why we're like 615, baby, 615. 